What's up you guys, it's George here. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you five different ways that you can actually make money online in 2020. Now, I've been watching some other videos about how to make money online, and I know a lot of them talk about these online surveys like Swagbox. Now, I don't wanna bash on Swagbox, but just to give you a reference, if it's still like it was nine years ago, then you're probably going to make about two to three dollars an hour. So I'm going to cut through all the useless information here and show you five legitimate ways that you can actually make money online in 2020 and scale it up where you can make endless amount of money with these five different methods. So let's jump right into this video. Most of these methods I've done myself or at least dabble with a little bit so I can really vouch for the different methods to make money online. They are legit. So let's get started. Now I want to talk about Fiverr.com. Just to put it out there, I'm not affiliated with Fiverr.com in any way, but it is a great website to making money online. It's a great website. You can do things like graphic design. That's probably the go-to for most people like logo design or video transitions or whatnot. Or you can do so many different possibilities. There are literally people on there who impersonate Jesus. There's a guy you can pay on Fiverr. He charges about like 20 bucks and he will say whatever you want and he acts like Jesus. There's also people who will call some of your friend and act like Donald Trump or Barack Obama and they charge anywhere from 15 to 20 bucks. There's definitely a possible way for you to make money on Fiverr so don't think that you're not skilled at something. There is definitely something you can do on Fiverr.com. Once again, like I said, I'm not affiliated with this or any of the websites that I will be mentioning in this video. Just trying to help you guys out, trying to give you different ideas and hoping that you will smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm. All right, so number four is actually to sell things online and the easiest way to start selling things online, even if you don't have anything to sell, is what's called drop shipping. This is probably a go-to for most people, so I'm only going to spend a small amount of time talking about this as many people are already on the fence of doing this. But essentially what dropshipping is, is you sell things over the internet to people from all over the world and once someone buys from you, you actually order that product directly from a manufacturer and the manufacturer sends that product directly to the customer. So you never actually get to see the product. It's a great way to make money online. There's a lot of people doing it and me personally, I do it myself. So I highly recommend you look into that. So another great way to make money online is by utilizing what is called Upwork.com. It's essentially the same thing as Fiverr, but a little bit upscale, so it's more professional. So you can make like 50, 60, or even 70 bucks an hour by selling professional services on Upwork.com. If you're good at writing, for example, you can write proposals, or you can write scripts, or you can write you know, all sorts of different things. Or you can be a video editor. There are literally so many possibilities out there. People need to get things done every single day. Once again, it's a little bit more professional than Fiverr.com, which also means that you're going to get paid a little bit more than Fiverr.com. I use it every day as a buyer of services, and I can say that I spend at least $20 every single day, and that's just me. You know, there are millions of other people who need services to get done every single day, and they're willing to pay money, so they're waiting for people like you to actually provide them with these services. And another cool thing that you can actually do with this is what's called drop servicing. So I've talked earlier about drop shipping, where you sell a product and you buy it from a different place for cheaper so as you might guess drop servicing is a similar thing but it's just with services so for example you land an order for a logo right someone needs to get a logo done and he's paying you $25 right you can then go to Fiverr and order that exact same logo for $5, right? That person is going to make that logo for $5. You then submit that logo, you get those $25. Now out of those 25, you actually have to pay $5 to that person who made the logo, but you are left with $20. So you basically become the middleman connecting buyers with sellers and you keep the difference. But this is something I'm gonna talk in a different video because I can keep talking about this for another 15 or 20 minutes. Let me know if you wanna see a video about drop servicing. Okay, another method that you can use is by transcribing videos. So you can literally type and transcribe videos for other people and I, I forgot what's the rate. It's probably like one or two cents per word. It's pretty low, but you can make money on this. It's a little bit time consuming, might hurt your fingers after a while, but you know, I just decided to throw it in this list. Once again, once you get a little bit into this and you understand how this business model works, you can get people to pay you, you know, two, three cents for transcribing a word, and then you can actually get someone to transcribe that word for one cent. So you'll be keeping literally one cent difference for every word transcribed. Now, times that by two, three thousand, five thousand words, and you know, you have you have five thousand cents. And if you divide five thousand cents by one hundred, right? that's going to make $50.
Boom. Two plus two is four. Minus one, that's three. Quick maths. So literally all you gotta do is find a person who needs to transcribe a video and tell them, hey, I'll transcribe it for two cents a word. You then go on Fiverr and you say, hey, I need to transcribe this video. I'm willing to pay one cent for each word, right? And now you're left with one cent difference. And once again, like I just said, one cent over 5,000 words is 5,000 cents and 5,000 cents like we just figured out is 50 bucks for literally being the middleman between a person who needs the service to get done and between the person who wants to get that service done. So once again, it's very, very easy to make money online just by connecting different people. Okay, now the last thing you can consider doing is what's called affiliate marketing. You might have heard about it, a lot of people talk about it, it's really not that difficult to get started. You can sign up with Amazon Affiliate, which is a great way to make money with affiliate marketing. What affiliate marketing is, essentially, is you market other people's products and once they buy that product, you get a commission of their order. So let me give you a quick example of how you can start with affiliate marketing right away and start making money fast. For example, you can make product reviews for literally anything you use on a daily basis. For example, if you just read a great book and you wanna make a quick book review on it, you can make a video talking about that book and then you can put your affiliate link on Amazon in the description. So once someone watches your video, clicks on that link and buys that book, you're going to get paid 10 to 15% commission off his total order. Or for example, you can make a product review video for that toothpaste you bought recently that has been whitening your teeth. And you can make a video talking about how this is the best toothpaste that you've ever bought and how it whitens your teeth after just a single use. So make sure to check out Amazon affiliates. It's a great way to start making money online with affiliate marketing. That's five different ways to make money online in 2020. Let me know if you have any questions or if you have any comments down below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.